Uh, my name is Brad Newberg. I'm with the Hyperscout Project. My name is Doug Engelbart. We've got some new and I wouldn't call them old, but significant ideas about hypertext and documents and collaboration that are important for a contemporary audience to find out about and learn about. We have a piece of software called Hyperscope that implements these in a way that people can access immediately with their web browser and start learning about these concepts of Doug Engelbart. Well, it's sort of introducing this Hyperscope project to what is potentially could be a good gang of people that would like to participate downstream. Well, if you have to go back to 1951 <laughs> and uh, the big dream I started to get about how humanity has to get collectively smarter or the way, the pace in which complexity and urgency and stuff is happening in the world that will crash if we can't handle it collectively better. <clears throat> and so, oh, maybe computers can help. So that's what started me. And it just generated, it evolved into more and more of a picture of how much computers can really augment, augment our capabilities, which is different from automating. And uh, so that got to be a large picture. And then I realized that it's going to take strategic processes to get that to happen. So, <laughs> so, you know, where could you start? And so I just started with building something that we called NLS that evolved later into Augment. And uh, the hyperscope thing is just, oh, if we did a restart with in another environment, that we could start merging with the kind of concepts we did in this Augment world and uh, strategically start expanding. My role is software architecture and implementation and trying to bring these ideas to run on contemporary web browsers, uh, make them accessible so people can easily start using them and learning about them. And um, you know, Doug's got the big ideas and just here to help and try to implement things. Well, I, I think if they wanted to start trying to adopt some of these tools or get involved in their evolution, it's open source and uh, there are a lot of things about collaborative work, etc., in which they can be of value, or even just an intense work on itself. But it's just, uh, it's sort of pulling out some of the concepts about what you can make different about the way a computer can help you work over the old-fashioned way in a book. And, uh, you know, we brought these things out by 1970s, late 60s, and you just couldn't get people interested because they were just too different from what people assumed. They got conditioned to say, oh, you know, that's what a book is for. It shows you how, so you can read and scan a book or scroll it. And you says, that just happened to be a technology that's much more limited and letting you move through it and show you things. So why not start taking advantage of those extra capabilities? So the concepts didn't get bought. And so nowadays the paradigms are changing enough that I'm just hopefully very much that these kind of concepts about how we can start harnessing the way we can see and perceive and all of that and manipulate and show symbols in all sorts of ways that they're really, really new and better ways to start working and learning. And uh, so if we start getting people turned on about that, we can get the evolution going. I'd like to throw something in really quick. Just, well, I think one of the things that's really unique about Doug and his ideas are that um, you know, many people heard about the computer mouse and his other work, but there's a very well-formed set of ideas, a real sort of manifesto almost, about augmenting human intellect. Um, taking our capabilities to another level and those ideas didn't percolate as much as they could have and so a place to get started is again at the hyperscope.org um, you'll see his original paper called augmenting human intellect that has some very deep things uh, it's rare to have a computer science paper go into philosophy and go into the depth that this paper does and the ideas are very relevant and, and profound and that hasn't had as much distribution as the mouse has, for example. And I think, you know, that's how things have happened, and I think people can get a great deal from learning about it now.
If you want to add anything that we didn't ask, I know it was a very short time. Because what you're saying, for you, what you want is an observation. Discussion. Yeah. You just applied the film. <laughs> you know, nobody, nobody's ever asked me that before. Discussion. <laughs> <laughs>